Speaking of eating, I'm in the kitchen with Tim Cooney, the kitchen manager for Meals on Wheels. And you are making one of my favorite dishes to eat, uh, one of my most challenging to prepare. We're talking omelets today. Well, they're really not as difficult as you would Says think. the chef. <laughs> Always works out that yeah, way, doesn't it? Exactly. So what do we need? We're making an American-style omelet. Is That's that right? Correct, yeah. Okay. So what are we using to make the American-style omelet? Well, I'm going to make a three-egg omelet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to consist of about an ounce of fresh spinach, mm -hmm. uh, Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese blend, okay. breakfast sausage, fresh uh, Spanish onions, mm -hmm. a little salt and pepper, and, of course, the butter to saute. And the butter. Now, just very quickly, Tim, before we get out, um, what is the main difference between, like, say, a French omelet and an American omelet? Well, the French omelet is, is it's a little thinner, almost like a crepe, and they okay. cook it very lightly. There's no browning on the outside, okay. and the inside is still quite medium rare almost. Okay. Um, they, they don't use as many uh, ingredients inside their omelets. We, we kind of fold them over into a half moon shape. They kind of fold them over twice. And it, and it's a lot moister and it, and wow. it looks a little okay. bit different than the okay. But this is here. the one we're used to here in the this states. This is what most people would recognize as an omelet. Is what I'm going to be fantastic. Today. All right. Well, we're going to be talking about the extravaganza coming up in a little bit, and we're going to be eating this omelet. But for right here in the kitchen, we're doing great. Tim Cooney, the kitchen manager for Meals on Wheels, joined by Shauna Kessler, uh, the executive director of Meals on Wheels. First of all, guys, thank you for all the work that you do in our community. It's it's really great. Thank you. Secondly. Thank you for making omelets this morning. Yeah. So let's dive in. You've already whipped up the eggs over here, it looks like. Yes, I did. Okay. So when you whip these up, I, I always heard you do it at a 45 degree angle, you whip it up, it, it helps make them nice and fluffy. You want to get right? some air in there. You put okay. a little bit of water in there, and that helps also get more air in there because the water, water. in the egg blends. Yes, just really? a, like a tablespoon for three eggs. Gotcha. You know, a little less than that even. Okay. okay. Uh, you want to get your pan hot because mm -hmm. the pan's not hot. The butter doesn't really settle into the uh, into the little grooves that are in there. It expands when you get it hot, mm -hmm. and then the butter will get in there, and uh, it'll stop it from sticking as much. Okay. Maybe after this, we're going to be so good at making omelets, Chad. I hope so. Yeah. Because we've you know we've had a few chefs come on, and they're they're helping us. Because like I said, I love eating omelets, and I like to make them. I'm just not very good at it. Yeah. I'm so, okay, but I'm really le I'm learning from <coughs> that's this. That's right. All so right, while so he's doing that, in. tell us a little bit about Meals on Wheels. So Meals on Wheels is a nonprofit organization. We've been around since 1972. I like to say we deliver food and friendship mm -hmm. to the homebound across New Mexico. Um, and the breakfast extravaganza that we're doing on Saturday helps support what we do. That's great. So it's this Saturday. It's this Saturday. Okay. This coming Saturday. And we can have omelets there? You can have omelets, okay. you can have Belgian waffles, you can have sausage and bacon, you can have biscuits and gravy and fruit and pastries and pretty much everything. Okay. That's great. That's wow. great. So now you put the eggs in. Now we've heard two different schools of thought on this, Tim, and I'm curious about this. You put the eggs in first. Why do you put the eggs in first? Because some chefs, they actually put the ingredients first, then they put the egg in. Well, if you do that, it's going to wind up being more like a, <clears throat> a scrambled egg mix with the ingredients. Okay. You want to build like a little envelope for this as, it, as, as you're going along. Okay. All um, nicely tucked in. Right. And, and as it's starting to heat up, and this mm -hmm. is a little, it, it should be a little hotter than this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're going to just move the egg around so that it gets into the pan so mm -hmm. that you don't have to get it too brown on the outside okay. in order to get the egg cooked. Okay. okay. So now once it starts to set, at what point do we want to start adding those ingredients? You want to make sure you have a good base okay. and a major portion of the egg cooked. Okay. That way it doesn't have to spend too much time in the pan after you get the ingredients in. Okay. okay. Um, all right, so now uh, you want to talk about the spinach here. Now, it looks like you, you pre-cooked this. Yes. Is that right? Why do you yes. pre-cook the spinach instead well, of putting it in raw? Because if you give it a blanch or a steam or even a saute, you can actually press some of the water out. Gotcha. There's a lot of liquid in the, in, in the spinach. So if you, you can press that out. That way when it cooks inside the omelet, you don't have all the juice from it running it's out. It's not going to be as well. Right, okay, right. so, so you, you cook it and then important to, to press it out. Yes. Okay, because yes. I would just cook it and then get it even watery. More water. No, you can, yeah. you, can, <laughs> you can let it drain in, in a strainer and, and some of it will come out. But if you give it a good squeeze, a just good take squeeze. it in your hand and give it a good squeeze. Gotcha. And most of the juice will come out. Okay. Now we're going to start adding. You can hand me the, uh, the onions. Uh, the we'll start onions. with that. There you go. 
Okay, we'll get the onions in first. Now, I use raw onions because I like the, the, the kind of crunchiness in there. You can okay. blanch them off if you don't like that texture or that flavor. Okay. okay. Blanching them um, is going to make them a little soft. Right. Gotcha. Now, I'm going to season it now because I don't like to season the eggs before I put them in there because it kind of changes the structure of the egg. It gets a little translucent. It doesn't cook the same. It's not quite as So you fluffy. want it cooked and set up a you, little bit You first want it to get started and then put it in here while it's still a little bit moist. Okay. Um, then we have the sausage. We have breakfast sausage here. Mm -hmm. This has been cooked. It's fully cooked all the way through okay. because it won't, it won't cook enough inside if you enough, put a, right. an uncooked sausage right. in there. Okay. Just sprinkle a little in there and then you can hand me the spinach. That'll spinach, be perfect. Spinach, there you go. Right. We'll just go ahead and, now we're not going to use all of this. I just brought a lot because it looked better in the bowl. <laughs> there you go. This man <laughs> understands TV. Yeah. There you go. And then okay. uh, the cheese, is this coming on last? Yeah, I'm going to wait a little while for okay. the cheese because everything else is starting to heat up. Heat okay. up and, uh, you know, you just want to kind of center it so when you fold it over, it's all in the middle and it, and it gives it a okay. nice. So, if somebody wants information on the extravaganza, yes. if they want to go, where can they find that information? So, they can go to the website, okay. breakfasteggstravaganza.com. They can learn about our guest chefs that we have there, the food that's going to be on the buffet, we're going to have a raffle, all that fun stuff, and you can get tickets online. Okay. Online. And it all, all right. goes to Meals on Wheels. It all goes to Meals Food on Wheels. Food and friendship. Yeah, great yes. organization, guys. Anyway, for more information on Meals on Wheels or a recap to make the perfect omelet, head over to Casa.com. We'll be right back. Tim's going to plate the side.